guys and gals how's it going welcome back to our episode three of celebrating my subscribers so how's everyone doing um yeah so i was actually a little concerned that we weren't going to have content for this week so i did reach out to the you not the youtube group but the facebook group and they let them know i'm like oh my goodness guys we don't really have any content for this week of celebrating my subscribers and I was like, oh my goodness, what am I going to do? So I actually had a couple people on there contact me and, you know, give me some stuff for this video. Now, the three people that provided content for this video are Logan Smith, Tom Latang, and Samurai Yamamoto. So I think today we'll start with Logan Smith because he has not submitted content before. So, you know, we want to start with the new and Logan is actually, he's going to college and he is actually uh, an information officer for his college's SGA. And SGA stands for Student Government Association. Now with this comes a lot of responsibility from what I can understand. And I mean, that's added responsibility to him already having to do his schoolwork and his exams and all that. So kudos to you for actually, you know, taking on extracurricular activity when you probably already have a very busy schedule of classes. You know, it, it's great that some people are willing to do that. I think for me, I would probably just have to focus on my schoolwork. You know, no extracurricular activities for this girl. But yes, he actually was responsible for setting up a, uh, you know, ordering a lot of things for his spring fling event that they are having at their school. And I'm just gonna read the flyer to you. Uh, it's a, and he did create this flyer. So it says, this year, expect to see fun in a new color with the Festival of Colors. Things will get bumpy as friends go head to head in bubble soccer, bumper car, bumper cars, mechanical bull rides, and RC car racing. There will be free food and drinks from Twisted Treats and Bully Barbecue with your student ID. Isn't that cool? Look at those. Uh, those are absolutely cool names, Twisted Treats and Bully Barbecue. That That's awesome. But yes, uh, anyone who's ever done any type of event planning, you're probably very aware that that requires you know being able to budget because most most of the time when you're planning an event you are given a specific budget so again kudos to you logan that i guess you were able to stick within your budget when ordering the things for your guys's spring fling and i certainly hope you guys have a blast and hopefully you know if you're able to you can provide some more pictures for that at the uh, you know after the festival has actually taken place um, yeah, if you can get people to agree or you can just have friends take pictures of you because we don't want to put people in the photos that aren't willing to be in the photos. You know, I mean, some people don't like their photos up online, so I don't want to get in trouble posting photos of people who don't want to be online. So, and of course, so after you have had this event, if you have photos and you can submit them, that would be great. And thank you, Logan, for submitting content for our video this week. That was totally awesome of you to do so. And next, guys, we're going to move on to Tom Latang. And you guys have heard of him. Now, if you watch our first episode of Celebrating My Subscribers, you will find out more information about him. He played a Bigfoot on a TV series. So, yeah. But Tom decided to provide us with uh, some answers to interview questions. And I figured y'all can check out Tom Latang while we're going over the interview questions that he answered. So he was so kind to do that when I contacted them on Facebook to let people know, hey guys, I don't have any content. Y'all got anything you want to offer? <laughs> so yeah. But Tom Latang is nicknamed Bigfoot Tom or Bigfoot because of his role as Bigfoot on the TV series that he was on. He was born January 18th, 1977. He's 40 years old. He is the youngest of three. He has a brother who he says is 18 months 
older than him and a sister who is seven years older than him. He has blue eyes. He has brown hair with gray highlights. He is six foot five, which is pretty tall, or for those who prefer, 196 centimeters. You know, I'm better with six foot five, <laughs> personally. Uh, his favorite food is Chinese or pizza. I do love pizza. Chinese is okay, but I would probably choose pizza over Chinese. His favorite color is green. Uh, his Twitch name is Bigfoot Tom. So if you guys are ever watching streams on Twitch, like I know I've seen him in cages and he comes in mine whenever I stream, which I don't stream that often. So, you know, whatever. And the games he's played are Call of Duty Black Ops 2. Battlefield 3, 4, and 1, The Last of Us, Minecraft, and Seven Days to Die. And I believe he's on the PS4. Yeah. So, uh, he does work as a security officer at a hotel, and occasionally he does have to be a backup night auditor. So, yep, he's pretty busy. He's keeping people safe. Uh, his favorite music, he says he listens to everything but country is his primary source of music. That's what he prefers. He is a father and he has a 13 year old son named Zach. Hello Zach, how are you? I have a son who is 13 as well and his name is Ben. Um, he has never been married. He is currently single. Um, let's see. He said, when I'm not working, he likes to watch movies. Oh, pretty much any kind of movie, he says. I'm a movie junkie, too. That's why I work at a movie theater. I had spent $10,000 at Regal Cinemas before I started working there. So, yeah. I Yeah, it's just great working there. Whatever. It's fun. All right. He likes to play video games. He likes to spend time with uh, friends and family. Uh, his all-time favorite movie is The NeverEnding Story. And I'm pretty... If I think that's the movie I'm... I am thinking of that has the big white uh, monster that can fly. I don't know if he's really a monster. He's kind of really friendly, but um, I don't remember a lot about the story, but I do remember that big monster in the story. So uh, he likes to cook and bake. I have to say I do not like cooking. Yeah, I'm not much of a baker either, but I do cook because I do have a family. So, you know, if you're going to have a family, you got to cook. Uh, let's see, he said one Christmas he did all his mom's Christmas baking for her. Uh, he said at that time she couldn't do that due to having MS. And unfortunately he did lose his mom uh, in 2007 due to multiple sclerosis. And we are very sorry about that, Tom. Um, our prayers and our hearts go out to you. You know, we're sorry you are without your mom. Um, I don't know. I never know what to say when people talk about losing people. I'm not really close to my mother, so I don't know. All right. So he said he's a big pain in the butt, a big brat, always uh, bugging people. Uh, he loves making people laugh and smile. Favorite thing that was said of him was that uh, Tom is a giant of a man with a heart of a marshmallow. Isn't that cute, guys? That's so cute. That's awesome. All right. His greatest achievement in life was graduating from high school and playing Bigfoot for the TV show. Awesome. Thank you for sharing all that information. We know where to go if we want someone to cook us some dinner now. Woohoo! Tom, cook us all some dinner. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, let's move on and with tom you know he submitted some actual some pictures from his seven days to die build so we're going to go ahead and we will show you guys some of his seven days to die builds that he has been working on he's going to submit something else i think uh, for next week's video so we will see that next week but here is a build that he's done and I first learned about this build, you know, he contacted me on Facebook and, you know, was telling me that, you know, half of the building was gone or something when he went in, went back into the world. So I don't know what glitched out and caused that to happen. That's, but that's a pretty cool build. Look at that. It's got this little pit <clears throat> that they have to you know, fall down into, I guess, if they try to get to him. That's pretty cool. And then I think we have the kitchen. There we go 
kitchen and dining room. He likes to cook, so obviously he's going to have a big kitchen. And probably has a big family, so he got to have a big table for his huge family. And then I believe this one is of the living room, probably. Yeah, or family room. Got his fireplace and his TVs and some artwork, his little desk there. Awesome. Totally awesome. I wish I was as creative as you guys are, but I'm not quite there yet. And then we have this. This is a lake house. Now, I know the next picture he was going to provide was also of a lake house. I don't know if it's going to be this one, but I know he said he was working on one where he had to add another building. So I don't know if this is the one, but that's pretty sweet. I like how you have the snowy background and then this background too. That's, that's pretty awesome. But yes, Tom, thank you for sharing this content with us today. You know, because like without you guys, you guys know we, we can't have, we can't have celebrating my subscribers if you guys aren't, you know, submitting content. I mean, I'm trying to come up with different ideas. We'll see what happens. All right. How about we look at some photos or I mean, some more pictures that Samurai Yamamoto has been working on. He's got the, let's see, he's got, um this one and this one yeah guys so you saw the ones where he was working on videos for I mean pictures for game edge and he decided to do some for me too so I'm like oh that's pretty awesome thank you he didn't need to do that but that was very sweet of him I don't know if I can figure out a way to make them part of my banner maybe I can put uh, change my banner and somehow put those on the banner but I'm not sure we shall see we shall see soon enough but thank you samurai again for submitting photos or i mean pictures for our celebrating my subscribers and now okay so i do have a suggestion for next week if anyone would be interested i'm sorry i keep looking down but my dog's like snooping around over here so i don't know if that means she wants to go out or what oh <clears throat> and i wanted to remind you guys too Today is uh, uh, daylight saving, so make sure you move your clocks forward an hour. Remember, spring forward, fall back. So yeah, if you haven't done that already, don't forget to move your clocks forward an hour. All right, and I was looking at this calendar that uh, our real estate agent sends to us. If my dog locks over my green screen, I'm gonna pummel her. Just kidding, not really. But uh, it says, like, for March, the flower for March is a daffodil. So I'm like, hey, well, I don't know if you're really going to have access to those right now. I guess depending on what climate you're in. I was going to say people could send in pictures of daffodils. You know, pictures of da daffodils, that would be totally awesome. Um, National Pig Day was celebrated on the 1st. So if you guys want to send any pictures about pigs, yeah, you know, with pigs in it. Let's say you live on a farm or you go visit a, uh, a petting zoo or something. You could take pictures of these little piggies and send pictures of the pigs in. And then there was also, um, let's see, St. Patrick's Day is on the 17th. So once you guys have your St. Patrick's Day celebrations, you can certainly send in pictures of those if you want. Uh, you could send in, <coughs> you could have your kids draw pictures of St. Patrick's Day type things uh, if you want and you know you just have to scan them onto your computer or whatever you might be able to do it with your phone and then email it to me and I can put picture the pictures that your kids draw up here if you want it's totally up to you um, so anything St. Patrick's Day related uh, daffodils pigs you know pictures of pigs and on the 19th is natural <laughs> natural national poultry day and i'm pretty sure poultry re refers to uh birds that you eat basically yeah like your turkeys and your chickens so if you guys want to provide pictures of like chickens or uh turkeys you could do that or you could even take pictures of um like your favorite poultry dish let's say you're out to dinner and you're having a poultry dish take a picture and say well look at my poultry dish i'm celebrating national poultry day early or whatever you know you could send that stuff in um so pictures of your dishes whether it's not your dishes but your dish that you're eating your poultry dish 
or your poultry is in your living poultry your little beautiful little chicks and your little ugly roosters and chickens and whatever because when chicks grow up they're not cute anymore i'm sorry they're pretty ugly and then national puppy day is on the 23rd guys so i was figuring people could send in pictures of their puppies or their pets in general if anyone would like to submit pet pictures i would like to actually i would actually like to do the pet pictures for the upcoming video so for the 19th so if you would like to submit something for the upcoming um video which will be submitted on the night which will be posted on the 19th you can send in pictures of daffodils you can send in pictures of pigs and you can send in pictures of puppies or pets all right so just whatever i mean have your kids draw pictures of these things and send them in it doesn't really matter um and then we have a uh, purple day which is on the 26th so we could have people send in pictures of things that are purple you know you wearing your favorite purple color or your pet wearing purple or you know just whatever you know just send in whatever you can i'm just trying to throw out ideas for people to send in content that way you don't feel like you're sending in anything personal you know if you have screenshots <clears throat> like tom latang has these uh pictures of what he's been building if you want to send in screenshots of your builds that's cool too now i need them sent to me because you know i've tried to look at like with my own pictures that are my screenshots that i take on steam i can't just click on them and save it to my computer it doesn't allow me to do that i don't know if i'm doing something wrong or what i literally have to send it to myself and then open it and then i can you know click on it and there's the option to save image as and that's how i save the images to my computer but for some reason if i try to do that through steam it doesn't work so i don't know anyway but yeah so those are some ideas send in pictures of little pigs pictures that your kids drew of pigs uh daffodils you know could be all sorts of colors um little chicks or a poultry dish that you like to eat um and your pets and saint patrick's day pictures and things in purple those are just all ideas that are all celebrated in this month you know see this calendar this calendar is great it gave me like tons of ideas on like what we could do if people don't want to actually you know do an interview or don't want to come on and you know or whatever oh and i don't know did i show you all this but look at this this is a logo i wonder how close i can put it focus camera focus camera doesn't want to focus on it stop being blurry but yeah that's a logo i'm working on i don't know why it's not focusing on it camera focus on the picture you are wanting to focus on the picture will it focus now i actually recorded like 27 minutes of a video guys i started over because I was being all silly in the other video. Okay, it's not going to focus for some reason. But yeah, that's a logo I'm working on. I don't know if y'all like it. <clears throat> I'm trying to figure out how to transfer it to the computer. I know I can scan it in. I'm not that illiterate when it comes to stuff like that. I'm not that ignorant. I know I can scan it or I can take a picture of it with my phone and put it on there. But I want to be able to draw it in some sort of software but it still looked that good so i kind of want to upload it and then just trace it because i mean i do have i mean i have paint and stuff but i need it to have a transparent background that way i can use it like the little she devil here i might get rid of her since i didn't make that i actually paid a girl on twitch to do that for me and she did my stuff for my twitch channel like my um emotes that i have on twitch she did my little panels that i have on twitch and um, yeah so anyway but let me take this time also before we end the video i just want to go through and thank all the subscribers 
who have actually been commenting this week. Now, is this something I'm going to be able to do each week? I mean, as long as I don't have like hundreds and hundreds of comments, I should be able to go ahead and thank those who have commented. I do want to thank everyone for subscribing though. Just because you don't comment doesn't mean I don't appreciate it. I totally do appreciate it. You know, what helps the channel grow is the the views, likes, and shares. That's what helps the channel grow. The comments just make the channel more personal, you know, because you're getting to kind of talk a little bit with your subscribers and see what they think of what you're doing. So the comments just make it more personal for the YouTuber and the subscriber. And that's what this Celebrating My Subscriber series is supposed to do. It's supposed to make the channel more personal, you know. But anyway, I want to thank the following people for posting comments this week and being active in the comments section. We have Edge for All, The Game 2417, Hoodoo Man, Brian Jones, Phase Shift, Craven, Tom Latang, Queen Nuts, Hammy82, Emboz, Miss, Miss Tweety, uh, Amy Jones, Nerdy Nurse, Tunnelfish, Logan, uh, John Paul, Samurai, Precious Cupcake, uh, Gregory McLowski, aka GMAC, my buddy there, he's my Xbox friend, uh, Jeffrey Days, Jaden uh, Mate, I think that's how you pronounce it, Commander Yesman, I'm not sure if I pronounced that right, Ono Koho, Wild Rage, Zerk Zeke, and Guard Talk for all posting comments on my channel. I love having an active comment section, so I truly appreciate that. I appreciate all the subscribers. I hope you all have enjoyed this episode. I hope you will be willing to submit content. I gave you tons of ideas. Um, primarily this week, if, you know, the big thing I would love to put up are pictures of pets. So if anyone has pictures of pets they would like to send to me, you should be able to do that through the email link that I will provide in uh, my description. And and I believe that's all I got for you guys. So until next time, I will catch you later. Bye.